This will not be a campaign of half measures, and we will accept no outcome but victory. American-led forces in southern Iraq have made rapid advances on the ground. Hundreds of heavily armed U.S. Marines are heading north towards Baghdad. The city of Nasiriyah is a major strategic crossing point of the Euphrates. Coalition forces hope to seize and control two major bridges which are essential for the continued rapid push north towards Baghdad. It is believed U.S. Marines will engage both Iraqi regular army and Saddam's elite Republican Guard as they run the gauntlet between the two bridges. The military success of the entire campaign may very well rest on the shoulders of these Marines as they face their first major engagement of the war. The battle around Nasiriyah may be a turning point in public perceptions of this war. It's going to involve some real fighting and there will be casualties and setbacks for both sides. But the real question is what the Iraqi resistance at Nasiriyah implies for the future course of this war. Saddam Hussein's only real strategic options are to sit tight in Baghdad and hope that his military can inflict casualties. We just got our orders at midnight tonight. Looks like they're going to send in the Marines. Here we go. Ah! Ah! That was close. Yeah, that's a rocket attack, BM-21. Enemy to two, they failed in. Danger close. I've lost all calm with artillery. This has been some of the toughest fighting the Marine Corps has seen since Vietnam. We've taken some casualties along the way. Just unbelievable. It looks like a scene out of apocalypse now. Most of us are up to 90 hours without sleep. It's amazing what fear and adrenaline will get you through it. Threat is real out there, gents. Trust nobody. The only people you trust are the people that are right here. And sometimes, in the chaos of battle, the difference between life and death is a split second. The American military says today has been the toughest day of the war so far. General John Abizade said a number of U.S. Marines had been killed in fighting in and around the town of Nasiriyah in southern Iraq. Twelve more Americans were missing. Local commanders say they've secured two bridges over the Euphrates, but they've faced fierce resistance from Iraqi soldiers. Nasiriyah might prove to be a symbol of the complexity of this war.
Thank you.